Hey guys, welcome to another computer cryptography tutorial. Today we will be learning about types of security attacks in computer cryptography and network security. Before starting with the tutorial, here's a riddle for you that will make your brain a little bit alert so that you can focus much more better on the topic. The riddle goes like this. What starts with a T ends with a T and has T in it? I'll repeat it. What starts with a T ends with a T and has T in it? The person who gives correct answer in the comment section below will get shout out in the next video. So make sure you write the answer in the comment section. All right, let's get started. Types of security attacks in computer cryptography and network security. So types of security attacks. There are two types of security attacks. First one is called passive attack and second one is called active attacks. Okay. Now, again, there are two types of passive attacks. First one is release the content and second one is traffic analysis. All right. So what happens in release the content? Release the content, basically the unauthorized person accesses the content of the message. But although he accesses the content of the message, which might be sensitive or confidential, but he'll not do anything with it. Okay. This is called passive attack. He may not use it. He may not distribute it, but he may just access the content. All right. So this is release the content. Now what happens in this? We'll look at an example. Suppose Amy is the sender, Barry is the receiver of the message. The message is not encrypted. It is plain, simple message. So Amy sends the message to Barry and John, the third party user that is unauthorized person accesses the content but he does not do anything with it. He just accesses the message. Now, second one, second type of passive attack is called traffic analysis. What happens in this? In traffic analysis, it is much more subtle than the first one, because in this, you may not even understand that someone is doing traffic analysis on you. Okay. In traffic analysis, what happens is the third person or third party unauthorized user analyzes the traffic that is sent from the sender to the user. Now what he analyzes or what he or she analyzes that what is the length of the message? Okay. What is the frequency of the message that you're sending from where the message originating from where the message is received? Okay. All these things he analyzes, he or she analyzes and then with traffic analysis, he may get the content by guessing. Okay. It's purely guessing work, but it is still a type of attack, although it is a passive attack. Now example of it, this is again, Amy is the sender, Barry is the receiver. Now Amy is smart. She's sending encrypted text. Okay. So she sends encrypted text to Barry. Barry receives the encrypted text. John, the third party person, he may receive the text, but it is encrypted. So it is gibberish to him, but he may get the length of the text. He may get from where Amy is sending. He may get from where Barry is sending and how often Amy is sending messages to Barry. So based on that analysis, John, that is the third party user, unauthorized person can do the guesswork. So this is, that's why a very subtle way of attack. Now let's look at active attacks. Now there are four types of active attacks. Okay. So first one is called masquerade. Second one is called replay. Third one is called modification of message. And the fourth one is called denial of service. All right. So what happens in masquerade attack? Basically masquerade attack means a person with little privileges does or impersonates like the person who has more privileges. Okay. So basically an example of this would be the personal secretary of a principal of a school. Though the stamp of the principal is kept with her just to use the stamp when the principal asks her to do, but she may do this or she may use a stamp of the principal to give letter of recommendation to her own personal friends just because she has the stamp and she may act as if she's the principal. So this is called masquerade attack. I'll give much more better example of this in terms of computer way. Okay. So for example, how does one do this type of attack? Basically when the authentication is done by authorized person, the masquerader captures the authentication sequence and replace the authentication sequence to impersonate the authorized person. Example of this would be imagine you log in into your browser or email address with the browser that is there on your work PC. Okay. Now 
what you do is you save your password so that you don't have to type it again and again and the third person that is who is unauthorized user but still works in the same company as you what he does he uses the same pc he does not know your password but he just puts in your username and the browser asks him to autofill uh, does he want to autofill the password he just chooses yes the password is filled he gets access to your email address simple as that so is he an unauthorized person yes he is an unauthorized person but he has little privileges that is he uses the same pc as you he works in the same company but he is not authorized to use your email address which is something private so what he does he captures the sequence of authentication that is he captures the same password he does not look at the password while you are typing it he just uses the same password that you have saved in the browser okay so this is what masquerade attack is next one is called replay attack now this attacks this attack is literally what it sounds like okay so what happens in replay attack is the third party unauthorized user captures the message that you have sent to the receiver replays it so that it generates some unauthorized or unwanted effect okay now example of this would be suppose you are transferring some money via e transfer or electronic transfer to some person okay the third person or unauthorized user captures the sequence of money transfer and replays it so that the money is sent twice to the person and this is not something that you want okay so this is called replay attack now modification of message is the third one by far this is the most dangerous type of active attack now what happens in modification of message in this type of attack the third person that is the unauthorized person alters some portion of the original message and sends sends it to the receiver to produce an unauthorized effect for example imagine if you send message saying give the secret document to aaron and the third person modifies the message and sends it as give access to secret document to barry he has changed the name from aaron to barry okay now this is a very serious type of attack as the effects of this attack can be devastating all right now the fourth one is called denial of service now in this type of attack the third party or the unauthorized user prevents normal use of the communication facilities okay another form of this attack is disruption of the entire network or slowing down the entire network by overloading it with messages so what happens in this is example of this will be a ping attack okay suppose a user is there who is there on a network okay of a server and he is he is again and again sending request to the network and overloading it with the request so what happens that when the network gets overloaded it cannot function normally once it cannot function normally no other user can use it so that it becomes unusable for everyone and ultimately it's a type of security attack that's it for today guys thank you guys for watching my video if you liked it please make sure you subscribe my channel like the video and share it with your friends if you have any doubt feel free to ask them in the comment section below and make sure you write the answer of the riddle in the comments below you'll get a shout out in the next video all right that's it for today guys thank you